Hey guys, this is D Flash, and we're back this month with another video. Uh, it took a little break, but now we're back. We're going to continue from where we left off, and this week we're going to look at utility. So what we're going to do is drag it onto this track. Uh, I've just got a full track on here so that we can play around with it. Now what utility is, is it's just a device that you can use when you're building your audio racks or um, just if you need it in a pinch. It works out good for this for these things. Um, what you've got is a device that has a mute control, uh, a DC switch that will filter out your DC offsets, and a gain knob. And then this will also allow you to, to switch which channel you're listening to. And then you can actually use this to pan left or right. And then you have a width control. If you bring this down to zero, that puts it into mono. And as you raise this, it actually folds it back into itself. And if you have it at 200%, you're only hearing the signals that are different on each side rather than um, everything that comes into the middle. So you're only hearing everything that's outside of the middle. And then you have your invert phase for the left and right channel. And that's useful if you're trying to uh, maybe isolate vocals. You can invert the phase, and that should, um, if they're in the middle, you'll actually end up removing them. So we've got a track here. Like I said, you have a mute, track, mute control. Now what that's useful for is say you have a delay, and you want to keep the tail of the delay, but you want to just end the track. So it's great if you're doing a build up. So we'll do this. So you can see how that can be useful, especially if you mute it to mount, uh, map it to a control, uh, MIDI control and the track is still playing you just have it muted over here and that's separate from this where if you had the delay on you're muting your delay also and we're just gonna bring this down in volume okay so what else can we do we're gonna bring the track back in like I said we have a gain control which is also useful when you're building a rack because you might have an effect that brings the track down up in volume or that you want to reduce the volume before it hits an effect so that you don't overpower it or it might have an effect that you need to boost the volume then like I said you can isolate some channels here you're just hearing the left but it's coming out on both channels there's the stereo, here's just the right, and here you can swap them. And then you can control your panning. And that again is separate from here, which allows you to do creative effects as you're building a rack. And now you have your width. We're now in mono. So a lot of this track seems to have most of its information dead center. So what we've done is we've isolated everything that's not dead center. And now we can invert the phase. And that's the utility. Um, I'd love to hear what you could use the utility for. Um, again, it's kind of a solution for a lot of problems. So I'm interested to hear how you use it. So leave it in the comments. Make sure you subscribe. And we're going to get through the rest of these audio effects. And then we're going to start taking a look at MIDI effects and the Max for Live devices that come with Ableton 9. Thanks for checking out the video.